Hello, Dr. Tom Ober from All Well Holistic Healthcare. What we're going to discuss now is a book in minutes. This book is called No More Heart Disease by Louis Ignaro. Uh, he's the winner of the Nobel Prize for the discovery of nitric oxide. And in just a couple of minutes, we're going to give you the big idea of what the book is about, but I would recommend that you read the book as well. So when we look at your blood vessel, There are multiple layers of tissue that make up each one of your blood vessels. The one that we're most interested in, though, is the very inside layer, which we call the endothelium. When the endothelium is doing its job, it's able to produce nitric oxide. And it's this powerful molecule that is able to coordinate the elasticity of the blood vessel, the size of the blood vessel, in response to what's going on within the body. When the body requires more blood, it's nitric oxide that sends the message from the endothelium to the rest of the blood vessel to open it up and make it bigger. Now, this naturally is intimately related to high blood pressure. When the nitric oxide from the endothelium isn't doing its job, naturally the blood vessel goes up. The blood pressure goes up. And over time, the stiffening of the blood vessel can set us up for cardiovascular problems down the road. So I want to give you a way of very easily remembering the important attributes of nitric oxide and what it does for us. So I use the word voice as a way to remember. Now the E is E. The E is for endothelium. Very easy to remember. This is where all of the action occurs. The first thing that nitric oxide will do for us is function as a vasodilator. So vasodilation is the term that describes the ability of the nitric oxide to relax the blood vessel and allow it to get bigger and bigger in response to greater volumes of blood moving through it. The next function that nitric oxide has for us is it functions to reduce oxidation. It functions as an antioxidant. You're probably familiar with the term antioxidant. Things like vitamin C have become very popular. There is a, a greater and greater number of plant extracts, especially in berries, that have shown to be very powerful as functioning as antioxidants. And the reason why that's important is oxidation within the inside of the blood vessel can damage this internal lining. So the reduction or the balance of oxidation is an extremely important thing in terms of reducing the rate at which we age. The next thing that it focuses on is inflammation. That is to say that nitric oxide works to reduce inflammation or as an anti-inflammatory. This is really exciting because it means that there are non-pharmaceutical ways to help reduce inflammation. Uh, if you've experienced an ache or pain and you've ever taken an Advil or a Motrin or any particular pharmaceutical like that, you did it because you wanted to reduce inflammation. When we are able to enhance nitric oxide production in the endothelium, we reduce inflammation, which reduces pain. The other thing that it does is it helps to handle coagulation. Coagulation is the term used to describe when blood cells stick together. They create clumps inside your blood vessels, which reduces the rate at which blood can flow through your system. So as you can imagine, a way of reducing coagulation, reducing inflammation, reducing oxidation, as well as relaxing the blood vessels is an extremely powerful way of enhancing the health of the body. So, just to review, 
the endothelium produces the nitric oxide, which gives us all of these beneficial attributes, and we can help to improve the production of endothelium with the addition of supplemental arginine. Now that's what this book is about. Only took us a minute to give you the big idea. It's important to understand that when you're talking with the people within your family, the people that are close to you, that are looking for a way to either reduce cholesterol or blood pressure or both, there's a way to do it without pharmaceuticals. And how it is that you do that is enhancing nitric oxide production. Thanks.